Today we embark on a journey through time to explore the rise and fall of the Swedish Empire. Join us as we delve into the triumphs, struggles and ultimate decline of this once mighty empire. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you never miss our historical journeys. Let's dive in. Sweden is a quite old nation, however their ascent to dominance commences in the 17th century, a period when Sweden, under the reign of King Gustavus Adolphus, experienced a meteoric rise to power. The Swedish Empire expanded its territories, becoming a formidable force in Northern Europe. Its military victories in the Thirty Years' War showcased Sweden's military might, transforming it into a dominant player on the European stage. The Swedish Empire thrived under Gustavus Adolphus's rule with its powerful navy, skilled army and strategic alliances. It controlled vast territories including Finland, parts of Russia and the Baltic states. Sweden's influence extended far and wide and its economic prosperity and cultural achievements made it a beacon of power and enlightenment. However, the Swedish Empire's ascent was not without its challenges. As the 17th century progressed, Sweden found itself embroiled in a series of costly wars that strained its resources. The empire faced formidable adversaries, including the expanding Russian and Polish-Lithuanian empires. The big problem that Sweden had was that it just did not have enough people. The population of Sweden was tiny, especially when compared to its contemporary rivals, the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth and Russia. The Great Northern War, which lasted from 1700 to 1721, marked a turning point for Sweden. It pitted the Swedish Empire against a coalition of adversaries, including Russia, Poland and Denmark-Norway. Despite initial victories, Sweden's fortunes began to wane and it faced a series of defeats. The war culminated in the Treaty of Nystad, where Sweden was forced to cede several territories, including Estonia, Livonia and parts of Finland, to Russia. The Great Northern War weakened the Swedish Empire both militarily and economically. It depleted its resources, drained its treasury and eroded its standing among the great powers of Europe. Sweden's territorial losses and reduced influence signalled the beginning of its decline. Despite its decline, the Swedish Empire left a lasting legacy. It introduced innovative military strategies and influenced future generations. Sweden's administrative and legal systems set the groundwork for modern governance. The empire's cultural and intellectual achievements continued to flourish, contributing to the Enlightenment era and producing influential figures. Thank you for watching.